If you're familiar with Docker and you'd like to mess around with the Store Server Management Console 2.3, I went ahead and put a version on the Docker repository that you can download. We even put a couple of steps in here if you're not totally familiar uh, with uh, what I consider the common way to get it set up and, and up and running. So the first thing is uh, launch Docker. I'm on my Mac right now. And here's the IP address. And I need to retain that IP address so that when I get into it, I can HTTPS to that address, which will get translated into the Docker image. Okay, so anyway, the first thing we need to do is pull the image. And I've already done that on this, uh, I think, let's see, Docker images. Yeah, so there it is, 48 minutes ago. Uh, in order to do it, you'll just do Docker pull uh, shaker242 slash SSMC, and it'll pull down the latest one. And now we're at step two here, which is just to run it. So we do docker run interactive terminal port translation 443 to 8443, which is the um, local port of the SSMC server instance. And then uh, which image we're going to do shaker 242 slash SSMC. It'll automatically grab the flag latest if it is the latest version. You can have multiple versions on there. Uh, we're, we just have this one. Okay. And then... Um, bash because we're just going to get it started okay so now i'm in the docker image and if we do ps we can see that the ssmc is not running there's no java process and if we do a netstat dash an that'll list the ports that are running and there currently really aren't any ports running so let's go ahead and start the service so that's just etsy on it dot d uh, ssmc start and that'll boot up okay now that it's started we can just check it so PS, Java, and then we can check the port. That's tab dash a n. And we should see 443. Now it's common that it doesn't pop up right away. Um, so just give it a couple of uh, seconds, minutes, and you should see the port initialize. So now that it's done, we can go ahead and jump into it and at least get the admin configured. So let's say HTTPS. There we go. Maybe. One problem I have with Safari is it doesn't like caching anything. So let me try it again. 192.168.99.100. That should be HTTPS. There we go. And then it's a certificate. Set credential password, admin, we'll say whatever I want. Okay, so we can go ahead and log in. And we will add our lab system. Default password. And then accept the certificate. Just waiting for this to go green. There we go. Activity window finishes. Okay, so we're going to close that, and you see it's going to just bring us to the normal login window. Okay, so let's go back to our Docker console. Oops, let me get rid of this for you. And then um, we can just exit out of it, that's fine. If we do docker ps-a, it shows all the containers that we're running. We've only been running the other one, uh, this one here. So I'm going to rename it. So docker rename. that one to SSMC makes it easy on me and then we could say docker restart SSMC so now that started we do docker PS and that shows you that it has indeed uh, started running with the last run command that we used uh, so port translation is working but we need to restart the SSMC service so let's say docker exec d detached mode SSMC 
and then Etsy inet.d ssmc restart. If you just do start, it won't actually start. You have to use restart so it kills the old PIDs and starts new process IDs. And we'll just go ahead and enter there. And again, like I said, it's going to take a minute or two for the SSMC to actually get fired up in the background and present the port. So we'll wait just a few minutes. And while we're at it, I'll clean the cache out again. Clear. And we'll kill that. And now we'll just try to log in. HTTPS 192.168-99.100. That should bring us to the certificate. And we should go right into the login window. There we go. So the admin's already been configured. So now we can say three part EDM, three part data, login, and voila. There we go. It's already set up. It's got our system in it. And that's how we can continue to retain the settings of the SSMC using Docker in a nice lightweight. 882 megabyte file as a Docker image. Good luck.